very wide uh, scope. For example, I, I teach right, and now foundation. I also teach uh, second year. Okay, second year. I also teach masters. Okay, in fact, most of the time I teach masters, and I find all the same. Okay, uh, because we cannot match exactly the same level, but we do some groundwork and very quickly we will build for those who are lacking, like masters, very big difference. Some country, they they come here, uh, they, they don't have background, okay? And then we build them so that the local one and OC one, uh, they are able to, to start at the same level, to, to follow equal, okay? So uh, that is our aim. So uh, as for this module, let us go look at the, as usual, we will start with this. I think for all your module also. Okay, uh, let me. Put here, as I say, if you got any question, you can ask here. I want to to do the first topic. Okay, in fact, not the first topic, the zero. Zero, this is called zero chapter. Okay, <coughs> let us do some introduction into the mathematics. Okay, what should you do? What do you expect for this module? Okay, let me put some space here. Uh, introduction and overview to mathematics. Okay, my name is Lau. And this is my email in case you need to uh, consult, you need to contact to, to ask for uh, clarification. You can go to this email and now about prerequisite of this module. Prerequisite meaning what you need to know before you come to this module. Actually, new. You see, we are so confident that you need not uh, have to have the knowledge of mathematics, okay, in order to join us because we're going to build it because you already got a maturity of thought, okay? We are going to build up very quickly, okay? So the prerequisite is zero, okay? It's zero. You don't need to have prerequisite. Now, aim of this, the aim of this module is to introduce students to knowledge and skill uh, required and etc. And we are talking about mathematics and statistics. Okay. Now this module's name is called mathematics, but inside we do have statistics. In fact, we've got the probability and also statistics. Okay. So uh, in fact, afterwards I will explain your final exam. Okay, your, your exam will consist of probability and statistic the last part okay uh, we will go through afterwards so this is a learning outcome you know in university everything that we do we every module we do we we need the student at the end have have learned something okay so these are the the thing we target for mathematics Learn the operation in basic concept of mathematics, the basic operation of mathematics, and perform calculation for statistics. So uh, it is about mathematics and statistics. Probability is also inside the statistic. So uh, we just run through as time comes with be more detail. Now the teaching method we use. 
is lecture and tutorial. Okay, so every week we got two hour lecture and two hour tutorial. Now I want to emphasize on this. Now, although like today is a lecture, okay, my my style is like that like is. Even though we got lecture, I also do a bit of tutorial, okay? Because uh, the major of mathematics like that, you must do introduce some basis, some theory, some concept, and then follow by exercise, okay? So exercise is is something like tutorial, okay? So uh, to to me is slight, slightly different, okay? I even for my masters, okay. I, I in fact I don't separate them. I don't say oh today lecture, tomorrow or next day tutorial. For me lecture and tutorial all oh, every time you come lecture tutorial together, okay. Uh, but I I cannot do this now, okay, because you you have other group. I say you have other group. So uh, we had to follow all the lecturer. I also don't know how many lecturer teaching uh, this in thing, mathematics. I don't know. I only know me and my colleague. But it might be another lecturer also doing. Okay, I can find out later on. Okay, so because uh, there are other lecturer involved, I cannot do my own stuff. We have to have common. Okay, so that's why I I have lecture, I follow lecture. Okay, but inside lecture, I also can give my own question. You understand? It's something like tutorial. Then when tutorial come, you follow a tutorial question given to all the, the students already. Okay, so we will do that. Uh, these, these are the format. These are the component of assessment. Okay. Uh, we have quiz one, quiz two, followed by test, and quiz three, and last final exam. So when we have finished all the syllabus, it means after week 12, this module is only 12 weeks. Okay, the duration. So after week 12, you would have final exam. Okay, usually uh, they, they give you a break of two weeks revision. Okay, but no more class. You will study on your own, then prepare for the final exam. You understand? So at the end of 12 weeks, you start to have final exam, not just for mathematics for other module, okay? In APU, we, we call module. Other place, they call it subject, okay? What subject you take, but we call it module, okay? So now if you look at the, the situation here, if you look here carefully, we have Okay, quiz one. Quiz one would happen roughly week three. Okay, week three. Now week three, you know this today, the last day of the week, week one over already, and I said, okay, this is the first week. We don't have tutorial, just one like that, finish the week one, okay? So very fast. Then next week, then the week after next is the quiz already. Okay, understand? So, uh, but uh, we we uh, a bit flexible, not not exactly follow strictly. Okay, little bit flexible. Okay, so you may have uh, quiz one about week four. Okay, all the lecturer they will match because some, sometimes. Uh, on that day, we got uh, what you call holiday. Some some lecture group got class, 
and some don't have class. So they are not the same level. Okay, so we will match. You understand? So we cannot uh, follow here exactly. This is just rough guide. So week two, uh, sorry, quiz number two. The, the word quiz uh, usually we need test on simple concept. Okay, quiz is only quiz is part of the formative assessment where we do not test on uh, those uh, difficult concepts. Okay, the, the early part, the, the preliminary part of the syllabus. Okay, so quiz one. 10%, quiz two, another 10%. Then test. So I can tell you that quiz one will be on chapter one. Quiz two will be on chapter two. Okay, quiz uh, next followed by test. Okay, test will be on chapter three, roughly. And then quiz three will be chapter four. Okay, and the final exam has two chapter. The last two chapters, they are the statistic and probability, and they, they are put under final exam. Okay, so everything they are quite uh, manageable, quite uh, clear. Okay, understood, understand. So, so that uh, quiz one will be on number. Okay, I think those of you study uh, in the secondary school, the number, the you know the. Irrational number, rational number, the integer, all this, and also conversion of the number, okay, the number system. So all this is quiz one, okay. So we we intend to finish quite fast. So every week, maybe about one chapter, uh, or two weeks, one chapter for the, those bigger one. You understand, okay? So that means you cannot uh, try not to miss. Uh, less unless under uh, unless it's under EC 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 who can tell us what does EC represent? Emergency circumstances. Yeah. Emergency circumstances. Uh, not emergency. No. It's something like uh, S ten. Yes. Who who got the uh, what does E stand for? What does E stand for? Who can remember? But it doesn't matter. Lah. I'm just asking. What, what does E stand for? Okay, E stand for extenuating. Okay, C means condition. Okay. So, extenuating condition meaning a condition that you cannot avoid. Okay, if you are sick, sick, like you cannot come to class. Right? Okay, then you got doctor, MC to prove. Okay, so this is called extenuating. You can prove it. Okay, so try not to uh, be absent from class. Okay, because. You see, we got 12 weeks to do everything, and if you miss one or two, then uh, especially in certain topic, then you leave a gap, big gap. Then you cannot bleach it, you can cover, okay? So, uh, quiz one, two, three, they are 10, 10, 10, 10, so 30% already. Then, test alone is 20%, so all, all add up, okay? All add up 50%. Now this is called in cost. This is called in cost. It is conducted during, uh, in the classroom actually. Although you are at home, but you were con considered in the classroom, okay? So this is called in cost. In cost are the uh, assessment, are the test done during in the class okay so the online the class is a bit different even though you do it <laughs> at home uh, in the hall in the bedroom or anywhere we also don't know okay so uh, but but we would expect uh, certain uh, certain principles certain discipline to follow okay 
So all, all here in cost is 50%. Now, still remember when you sit for your exam, like your secondary school exam, uh, the SPM, all this, you see? Final exam is something like that during, uh, before MCO, okay? Before COVID, we, we have, uh, at the end of the semester, there are so many people, so many school, we call it different faculty, they, they sit together in a very big hall, few hundred people. And then, and then at the same time, they start, you know, they are in which later and etc. So that this kind of uh, scenario, a bit, a bit what? Nervous, right? Huh? Okay, nervous. But now, uh, the the online we are doing online. Okay, so the the final exam uh, is not that uh, you won't be so tense already. Okay, because you can do it at home. Final exam. Okay. So now what I'm trying to say is in course are uh, the component which you can score because they are done early. Okay, like quiz one. Number, you have done number easily. Okay, you have done many times. Okay, so uh, it's easy to score because they, they are the early part of the module. Easy to score. So a smart student would score. We want to score at quiz one, two, or three, or test. Okay, and a later part, uh, because final exam, it is two hour. The quiz is only half hour. You can half hour. What can they test you? Can now, nah? So only easy, easy thing they, they test. Okay. So you, the smart student we want to score. Okay. We want to score in in the quiz, and uh, later on final exam because the two hour they, they, there's so many things squeezed together. Then you find harder. Okay. But it's okay if you score early part. Then later on the final exam, if you don't really score very high, if you average out, you still get A plus. You understand? My my what I'm trying to say is you uh, have to be smart. You understand? Smart. Try to score uh, at the early part because they test on easy thing. Why test on ECT? Because you learn, you not just learn uh, those uh, difficult stuff, okay? You not just learn. So it's a smart student who want to score at the early stage. Okay, let us go. Okay. Uh, your, your mathematic credit hour is four credit hour. It's a, you, you don't bother about it because most other subjects, I think you got a three credit hour, some four, depending on uh, how, what, what are the content, okay, what the nature of the module. I think foundation maybe all four already, okay, I'm not really sure. Okay, the, uh, because of the, the of our Malaysian government, okay, will be emphasized to, to be the same as international standard, okay? So we design our courses on the, basing on outcome, outcome based, meaning we would teach something that, not what we want to teach, but what you can use in future, okay? So those things that we teach uh, are going to be used for your career later on, not just learn or nothing, okay? Something to be applied. Uh, okay, this is the one I'm talking about. Okay. The number is our first topic, chapter one. This is quiz one, quiz two. Okay, and these two, okay, will be in the test. Okay, and this one will be quiz three. 
and these two we find a yeah, very clear cut again okay? final exam okay the probability and stats will be in the final exam so uh it's so simple okay so uh we we would uh, tackle all this as time comes In APU, yeah, you uh, big already. You you know you are smart. So uh, we emphasize on this proper attire, what you wear, and etc. Okay, I uh, don't want to emphasize on that. Leave it to your own understanding. Now, no speaking in language other than than English. Okay, uh, sometimes. We try to speak with friends, okay, in English, okay. But as I think because of our habit, uh, among friends, uh, we speak in our own language. I also, okay, duty uh, of there sometimes I speak with my colleague, okay. Uh, but usually we we want to observe some decorum, okay, some uh, discipline. So that when you speak your other friend beside, they they do not know what you speak and not so nice. Okay, not so nice. So you try to speak in in English, so that your your friend around we are all friend we are all one family. Okay, so they they can understand. Okay, to improve our uh, mutual understanding. Okay, attendance is compulsory. Okay. Now, of course, uh, you have to achieve certain percentage of attendance, okay, in order for you to, uh, for example, to sit for final exam. That is a requirement. And if you are from a foreign country, then your attendance will be used for you to renew your visa and etc. Okay, it's a proof that you attend class. And okay, the rest I don't want to talk. I leave it to you. And uh, there's one thing I want to emphasize. Okay, you here now. Student have to submit EC form for late assignment and missing from class test okay you see there's some of my other module that masters we got assignment research paper okay they they are given one month to to do the thing okay and a class test okay you also got class test okay class test and the deadline for assignment the final exam or the quiz okay all, all these are you cannot miss okay you know just why can i ask why you cannot miss all this why can't miss all this why ah, because if all other students sit and you don't sit then what happened you had to wait for another class to, to join in okay maybe next semester okay next semester so you will be missing one component okay because you didn't see uh, but we don't simply penalize you we ask for your reason why why you didn't come for class test so we ask so you you will supply the reason you give the reason uh, that reason is called easy okay you are sick, then you produce medical cert, MC, to show that you are sick. Sick, sick, la, then how can I attend? <laughs> that is the, the best reason. Okay, If you are sick, you sure cannot attend. Okay, uh, Then you still have to sit for the class test or even exam. You still have to. Uh, so what happened is this you will be given 
another opportunity to sit for the class, eh? but not, not maybe not within this semester, next semester, and I say, so your result will be blank, okay? They do not know how many marks you score. Then add up whether you get A plus or A or what, you don't know, okay? Because the, the place, the marks is empty, okay? So the result would only be known when you join the class test next semester, okay? You, you cannot uh, miss the class test today and say, oh, I want class test tomorrow. <laughs> cannot, uh, because it takes a lot of time to prepare the class test for it to be approved by uh, external examiner and etc. okay? So these are the things I uh, want you to understand. Okay, uh, but if you miss the class test or quiz without EC, who can who can answer? What will be the consequence if you miss class test without reason? I mean, without good reason. Who want to explain what would happen? Uh, okay, and you didn't see. Yes. Is there what? Uh, okay. No, no. If you don't sit for the class test and yet you don't have good reason, okay? You still have to sit, understand? You still have to sit. Uh, but this next time when you sit, we we'll give you a maximum of 50 mark. Even if you score 100 mark, we only give you 50 mark. You understand? That means you can only get past. You understand? Okay? Uh, that is without reason. Uh, but we reason meaning EC accepted. Your reason is accepted. Uh, then it's just like fresh. You can get 100 mark if you score 100. Lah. You got 90, 90. Lah. Okay? But without reason, Maximum is 50 months. You understand? But you still have to sit. You cannot escape. You still have to sit. But maximum pass only. You understand? Okay. But as you go along, uh, there will be occasion where uh, you can understand better. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Okay, uh, the consultation, the, the support that you want to get, okay, if you find problem in study, uh, you can book for consultation, okay, you, in, in the consultation, I consult, okay, you can book the lecturer for consultation. And uh, now consultation is online, okay, online, last time is a physical, just go to the office and there's a place for you to discuss lecturer and a student okay. so uh, or you can go to library resources in the library or you can ask question through email okay internet uh, yeah you can go to search google and etc all, all these are understood okay they are understood uh, but this is something that you can uh, do very beneficial okay you can consult book consultation of uh, time with a lecturer okay these are the great i don't have to talk okay so uh, that is about uh, give you an overview of what you expect in the Mathematics. Okay, actually, it's easy. If you look at the type, the topics, they are, they are easy stuff here. Yeah. Okay, you see, I, I know you you must have learned all this already. Okay, I know. Because I do have children, right? Huh? I got two, but they are all very big already. Okay, they are working. Of course, because I'm <laughs> my hair all white already, right? Eh? Okay. Okay, you got anything you want to ask? Uh, 
um, for the test side, uh, it becomes difficult. Are we going to do it like with our desktop or are you going to give us? Oh, okay. Okay. For the, for the test, uh, actually, uh, test now everything is online, not, not just test, okay? And you do it at home. Do it at your home. Yes, do it at home. Uh, but uh, we we need you to 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 do like what you do in the real school exam or whatever. You do it on a paper and you take picture and upload. Okay, upload. You take picture, your hand writing, etc. Okay. So different module got different. Okay, different like assignment. Yeah, you can use processing. It's a research paper. Okay, so uh, by some you need to write your handwriting very important. They can recognize whether you, you copy or not. Okay, your own handwriting. Okay, yes. What's that? Maybe they are just doing some stuff and causing some. Uh, Maybe they have got to give out notes. Take pictures. Oh, take picture. Sorry, I can't catch you. Yeah, yeah. So maybe it's got to go. Oh, okay. Where to submit the picture? Okay. Yeah, you take picture and then you upload into your computer and copy paste into a format this is a long i mean later on you can explain okay now yeah Moodle. everything is Moodle. okay we we have a platform Moodle. okay where everything you go you upload there and examiner will mark from the Moodle also Online, you can map online. Yes. So, um, during the test, when we come physically, uh, we will be separated and then we upload the Moodle also. Because uh, those doing online, we just do normally at home, but we are coming physically by class. So, we have to separate us somehow, right? The sitting at home. Uh, yes. Yes. If you come during test or, or quiz or exam, there's no point to come to the class, okay? You can stay at home, okay? Stay at home and, and do and submit, okay? Okay, uh, we will go to, to the lesson now, okay? Okay. Our first chapter is number. Okay, number. Okay. I I think we uh, because this one is maybe we take a short break because uh, after some time, very short time, then we break. No, not we, we spoil the sequence. Okay, the the momentum. You can take a short break. Okay, when you come back, we start the lesson. Okay. Uh, let's say we five now five zero three yeah. five fifteen we start again five fifteen so they got one hour uh, to do solid lesson okay can you take a short break get okay. those online also okay uh, we will continue at five fifteen uh, those our uh, friend online uh, please uh, take part in the discussion okay you can type in okay we we'll join when the set will be discussed at a certain week is is better to uh because i said the whole thing is one topic okay so i, I cannot just spend few seconds to to explain what is said, it have, have no use. Okay, we have to build up the concept. Okay, so yeah, set is one of the the item we are going to talk, discuss. 
okay when it come to probability and even uh, in, in the in the mathematic parts in the early part there's also said we'll talk about that as time comes okay easy yes set is quite a easy part okay set we we got all the diagram the wing diagram to represent set okay and and all the operation the intersection and etc yeah all that we one set is about intersection the union and what, what type of set we have is it universal okay are they dependent independent are they mutually exclusive when when you come to the right time you answer answer full okay we answer your question in full okay. yes everything subset also
Okay, time's up already. Where are your friends? Okay. Okay, regarding, yeah, let us get started, huh, all of us. Uh, regarding in easy's inquiry, question about the set, okay? I would explain that when uh, when come to the set because uh, we need a lengthy explanation on the set. So we do have one 
a subtopic on set as we go along. Okay, so don't worry. Okay, uh, now, Ching Yu, can you, can you see the slide now? Can already, I suppose, at the end, he said network is now stable. Okay, we go to the set now. Okay, now, seldom I would, uh, seldom refer to to the PowerPoint. Okay, PowerPoint is meant for you to to read, to refer at home. Okay, I will seldom refer once a while. Okay, maybe at the beginning I refer to it for a while. Uh, later on I will not. Okay, I would depend more on the uh, document white page where I write, where I can write like like whiteboard. Okay, so. Now look at the number, okay? Just want to quickly introduce or help you to remember what you learn, okay? In in school about number. So we are talking about the num type of number, the accuracy, the standard form. So actually, the the first point, the type of number you may have learned already, okay? And uh, I'm not sure about point two, three, four. Okay, they they are easy also. Okay, the number base, uh, the standard form of number, and the accuracy or the error used in calculation, the limit of accuracy. So let us go to uh, to point one. Uh, these are the type of number. You see the whole thing is condensed here. Okay. Now I want you to quickly look at it, then we we'll discuss. Okay. Okay, those online you, you can join in. Okay, you can join in. Eh? Now the there's this number you call real number. I traditionally I use R, capital R to represent real number okay now you would wonder why why there's a word real okay uh, because if you go to do higher level form six or what uh, we we have another type of number which is called complex number or called imaginary number not not real and it is very useful in engineering, okay. Those of you going to do do engineering, uh, you beside the real number we use every day, okay. There's another type of number we call complex number or called imaginary number, okay. Sure, you have to use it for engineering to do uh, the engineering to to find the forces and resultant forces, etc. So this this part, uh, but for now we don't care about that uh, that type. Okay, we only concentrate on the real. Okay, in fact, in fact, uh, the integer, natural number, rational number, irrational number, they are all real number. Okay, our real number is the biggest, the biggest set. It include everything here. All these form the real number. Okay, so. So if you look here, all the number is considered real, okay? except the complex number. So this is real. You must have seen example like this, 35, 1.14, and also pi. Okay? Pi has a special meaning. Okay? Uh, later on, we'll talk about that. The integer are uh, as you know, it's all the number number. Some whole is a whole number, but inclusive of negative. Okay, they are called integer. So just recognize it. Afterwards, we we want to uh, revise. Okay, negative five. If I ask, is hundred integer? Yes, it's a positive integer. Right? It's it's integer. Zero also integer. Yes, integer include zero. Okay, so 
you see it is like whole number there's no fraction no decimal okay it is whole number but inclusive of zero and negative side okay. natural number okay natural number it happen naturally you you uh, it doesn't include zero okay actually the it, it all started by using hand natural number okay. it start with one, two, three, four. There's no zero not included, okay? And it's a whole number. So if I were to add natural number, I add a zero. Who can who can answer what it to come? If I add one zero there, natural number become what number? Yes. Uh, no integer got connective also. It's a bigger, it's a bigger set. Okay. Some of you ask the set. Okay. Now the integer number is all this. All the whole number inclusive of zero and, and negative. Okay. So can I ask natural number is like that, right? Huh? Natural number. Natural number. This is natural number. Okay, which you can show naturally. Uh, but of course, there are many other number. Not just example only put put out there. But I can add in. I can add in four, five, six until infinity. There are so many other numbers. So all this is called natural number, right? Huh? But if I were to add one more number, just one more number, what does it call now? Okay, very good. It become whole number, and I say, so whole number is just like natural number, but it has one more number. What is that? Zero. Okay, it has extra one one member zero. Okay. Now rational number is any. Can someone explain what is rational number? Yes. What? Uh, yes, any number that can be expressed in fraction. Okay, so I will we will discuss this point. Okay, remember lah. Rational number is any number which can be expressed in fraction. Fraction meaning the top part and the bottom. The top part is called numerator. The bottom is denominator okay so it, it can be put in into a fraction so if you can express a number in the fraction it is a rational number okay remember that we will discuss so you see all these all these are all these are already in a, can be expressed in fraction can i ask how come this one not in fraction yet and yet we know it's a rational how come this uh yes is is 99 over 100 okay so you you got the numerator and denominator if you can put the number in into new numerator and denominator it is a uh, rational okay and 17 how come 17 is not a fraction but this is this called rational how come how come Ah, yes, very good. Okay, it is 17 over 1. Okay, so the denominator is 1. The numerator is 17. Okay, so now this this point will be, we would do on, on this point. Okay, how come 0 0.99 is a rational? Because you can express in fraction. Okay, irrational is the opposite. Okay, cannot be... Express in fraction, okay, irrational. 
Okay, so there will be a lot of uh, number be belonging to irrational. Okay, so a number, if it is uh, rational, it cannot be irrational. If it is irrational, it cannot be rational. Okay, they are in mathematics, we call it they are what? In statistics, we call they are mutually exclusive. Okay. If you this, this. If you are rational, rational. If you are irrational, irrational. And they're totally different. They are exclusive. Understand? So, uh, Ng has asked what is said. Yeah. The rational and irrational, they are set of number. Okay? And they are mutually exclusive. The, the two set never overlap. No intersection. Okay, just now uh, they also talk about intersect. They don't intersect. Okay, as you go along, you see more. Okay, so now I want to discuss. Okay, now let us take stock of the type of number. Okay, we are not going to spend a lot of time here. Okay, now the number, they are real number. Okay, in fact, in our everyday life, in our syllabus, we only deal with real number. These are very common. We see every day. Okay. But there's another type of number we call imaginary number. Okay. Which is not in syllabus here. Okay. Which we would study in the further mathematics. If you take the, the module after this semester of further mathematics, Mathematics, uh, they will study okay, the complex number, which is not real. Not real, we call it imaginary. Then integer are uh, all the number, all the number including zero and including the negative. All the whole number, there's no fraction, no decimal, just whole number. Okay. So integer has every whole number inside, including the negative one. Okay, natural number is only. How come today I cannot cannot delete cannot wrap off? Huh? <laughs> Something wrong with me. Okay, so this is the natural number. Okay, uh, not inside here. Not inside. Inside here, I always call it W, set W. What is set W? Whole number, okay? So you have to remember the R is a real, Z is integer and natural. W is whole number. Q is rational and Q bar, Q bar is irrational, okay? So uh, let us look at next one. We are not going to use a lot of time. Uh, this one tells us very well. Okay. Now the whole thing, the big circle, the big set, the biggest set is what? Real number. Okay, the biggest set. Okay, very big, biggest. And inside, you got irrational number and also rational number okay and also integer is inside rational and whole number are uh, here show just now doesn't show whole number is inside integer and and the smallest one uh, we, we come across in this syllabus is natural number okay natural number are the number which you can show naturally in in the olden days okay they go to shop they say oh i want this too <laughs> so they have finger too okay and etc they, they can uh, it's a whole number but doesn't include zero okay so let us see okay let us spend a little bit time to to talk about the number Okay, here. Uh, I believe 
real number you already know is all the number real number okay they're the biggest set after real number what you have after real number you got you got rational right, eh? you got rational okay rational number and uh, outside rational number there's another one irrational okay then we got integer integer is also part of the rational okay rational integer is whole number but with a negative is part of the rational okay and then natural number is part of the integer also okay and uh, whole number is even bigger than integer and let us see okay uh, i want to talk about irrational number here okay let's discuss a little bit now we have rational number okay all those online okay rational number okay rational number is easier to understand okay then irrational okay q is a rational okay so can can i ask what is rational number all number eh? it, it consists of all number yes which yeah can be expressed in fraction okay which can be expressed in fraction and of course irrational is the opposite like, cannot be expressed in fraction okay so rational if i ask you okay see who can answer if i i simply write okay is five a rational number yes or no yes, yes okay because it can be expressed as a fraction okay or or even five you can say or oh, actually is equal to 20 divided by four okay it's a fraction and no n continue okay now is is 3.5 rational yes how why why uh, okay those online uh, yes correct uh, is seven over two okay oh there are so many ways you can say three <coughs> and a half okay so this is also a fraction uh, uh, this is also a like, impro this is a, a mixed number fraction and uh, but uh, how about this one uh? 3.3333 okay yes. yes or no okay yes. now yeah i can i can just shorten it by say 3 3 3 this is recurring okay recurring now is this rational number or not rational? I, you know, I put three three. I put a line under. It means it's going to be three 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 forever, forever. Is this rational yes. or irrational? Rational. Okay, it is a rational. Okay, this is a rational. Okay now because i i know the the, the rhythm is 3.33 three, 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 three. it is a uh, recurring okay so when you see a number which is recurring uh, it is a rational okay even though it go until infinity until one million decimal it is still like that rhythm okay so it's a uh, rational i put a tick okay this one is also rational. Now, 
if I have a number like that, five point one five seven one five seven is a uh, uh, continue. Okay, so I, I can write it as in mathematics we we can write it in a uh, system. We say one point five seven recurring. Is this uh is this recurring? Is this is this a uh, rational number? Yes. 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 Why you say so? Because what? Yes, because it's recurring, understand? Okay, recur. So even though they never write all, because it cannot, it won't end, and uh, it is. You can show that it never end, even though it's, it never end, but it's a recurring. So it's a rational. Okay, it's a rational. Now. Can I ask you pi? What is the value of pi? Okay, I ask you to use your calculator. Can you take out your calculator? Okay, just just see, just see. The pi I think is at the bottom. Just. Just press the bottom and equal. What was that? One four one five one five nine two nine two six five four six five four. Come on. No more that, huh? Okay. No more. <laughs> Doesn't mean it ends already. You pay. You pay sixty dollar only. You pay one thousand. You give your bigger computer okay then you can get more you understand okay now uh, according to a mathematician you know what they do they find they, they use very powerful computer and they are able to get few thousand decimal places oh ah but they, there's no repeating understand? they look at it every time we do not know like, like here we know uh, one five seven one five seven. We we know you repeat. We know. But here we do not know. Until here, what is the next? Huh? They do know. Okay? So until one day they use very, very powerful computer. Do you know they, they can find until few million places. I think now uh, the technology allow them to, to find few million decimal and still continue no end so that is why they say they say it is irrational okay so it is not rational pi okay but can i ask you why in school we use a fraction what fraction is it in school in school we we use what fraction uh, this is only the rough one, understand? This is it's a fake one, not not the real one. In school, because we just want to make easy for student. Okay, it's never like that. Okay, it's just make easy for student. Okay? If it's twenty two over seven, then it's a rash. It's a rational already. Okay, it's a rational. Okay, yeah, Sally. Uh, 22 over 7 is not the real num. It's not the real pi. And say it's a simplified one. Okay. Wow. Someone got powerful computer. Is it? They compute. And I tell you, it's not the end yet. Eh? You can compute until few million places, and yet they can't see. They can't see any pattern. They can't see any repeating pattern. Okay, so there, there's a challenge. Okay, for those who are interested, uh, there's a challenge now. If you can find when 
does it end? If you can find where when does it end? After a few million decimal point, you, you get uh, a price, okay? Someone put the money in the bank when he died. And now I think many millions, <laughs> a lot of money already. If you can show that, you get the money, okay? So maybe you want to take this one as a challenge, okay? To, to find what's the value of pi, okay? Using computer or what? They can't, no end. So it's not recurring. If recurring, then we don't even need to, to find the end. We say just recur, lah. just repeat, repeat. Uh, then become rational. But now nobody can find the end, okay? So this is uh, an irrational, okay? So now, irrational number, irrational number, sometimes we put a bar, or sometimes we put a prime. Okay, it's, it's okay, depending on, it's just a symbol only. Okay. So irrational number. Can I ask you what is Okay, what is this number? Can you use your calculator? One point four one. Someone continue, continue. Four one four two. One three five. Someone. Six two three some more seven three zero. You see, you can't see any pattern repeat. Okay, sometimes after ten they repeat, but here none. Okay, so this is irrational because there's no repeating pattern. Okay, so no repeating. Okay pattern so it is not okay it's a irrational okay it's a irrational number so okay this one i just put right uh, is the irrational okay in fact all the the third Okay, pi, as we see here, yeah, is irrational, okay? And there's another number, okay? I think, I suppose you have any, all of you science student? Are you science student? Science. Science student? Okay, you come across, uh, those not science also must have come across E. E is a Neperian constant, it's a natural constant. When you use log, eh, you log to the base E. Okay, E, can you use your calculator? Find E. What is the value of E? Can okay. you take your calculator? Yes, anyone? one eight. Two eight one. Two eight one. Eight two eight. Eight two eight. Four five nine. Zero four five. Zero four five. Zero four five. Two three five. Wow, two three five. Wow, our friend got so powerful. Huh? The, our our cash show one, I think, can show until ten places. Okay, but this one, so many places are decimal. Okay. Okay, so you see, you can't see any repeating. 
no pattern. Okay, repeat. Once it start to repeat, uh, then it's rational. So it's uh, okay. It's irrational. Okay. So this one is also irrational, and etc. Okay. So I think I that's enough to understand what's rational and irrational. Okay. So let us continue. To see what item okay. Uh, our next item is uh, limits of accuracy. Okay, after the type of number. Okay, so just just uh, remember uh, the biggest set is core real number or the Z. We use Z to represent okay the real number. Okay, and inside we have rational. Okay. Rational is Q, okay, and outside rational and irrational, they don't okay, intersect, they are separate, okay, and inside rational, we got integer, okay, I call it uh, Z, uh, I, okay, integer, integer, what I call, so we want to standardize. Is integer is Z okay? Sorry, Z. We use Z to represent. Okay, so we want to everyone use the same. Okay, this is Z. And inside you got whole number. Inside whole number you got natural number. So all uh put into their places okay so now uh, next one we have to go to limit of accuracy okay, okay. Uh, then let me discuss this together all of us must take part okay First, I want to introduce the, the number limits and boundary. Okay, that the two concepts limit and boundary. Okay, are you all okay? Okay, now let us talk about. Now, if I have a number, okay, let's say five, okay, and I tell people that, okay, this number five has been, uh, has been round up, okay, has been, okay, round up. To nearest whole number. Okay. Now I want to ask you, this five, let's say I, I say, okay, I bought five kilogram of sugar. Okay, remember that? I bought five kilogram of sugar. Okay, but 
This five kilogram of sugar has been rounded up to the nearest whole number. Okay. So after round up the original value, it becomes five. Okay. So I ask you what is okay. What is the highest value? What is the largest? Okay, largest value before wrong luck. So Five, what is the biggest value it can be? Because can can it be 5.1? Can it be 5.1? If I were to round up to nearest number, it become what? Five, right? It become five, right? Huh? So it may be 5.1. Huh? Can it be 5.3? Yes, okay. After round up, it becomes five. Okay, so we want to find the largest now. Okay, so what could it be? Five point six? No, because it's five point six. Round up is not five. It becomes six already, right? Huh? Okay, so what is the highest value before round up? Five point. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. 5.4999999999 million nine. Okay, but we, we just make it easy. Okay, we say 5.5. 5. Okay, 5.5. 5. We take take to the boundary. Okay, so remember, remember lah. 5.5 5 to make easy for us. Okay, actually it can be 5.5. 5. 5, uh, 5.4. 5. Nine, 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 one million nine. It can be like that, okay? Just a little bit money, okay? So we, we call this. Okay. So the the highest value before round level, it can be 5.5. Okay? How about what is the okay? Let me write down. What is the smallest value? It can be. Ah, uh, okay. Value before. So it could become four point five. Okay. It is the smallest. Can it be four point one? No. If it's four point one, become four. It is not five. Okay. So it's five, four point five, four point six, all possible. Okay. So now this this point is called. Okay, the lower limit or boundary, okay, the lower boundary, okay, we call it boundary, okay, or I call it LB, lower boundary, and this value is called upper boundary, okay, I just call upper bound, okay, U B. Okay. So the concept of accuracy of measurement uh, come from uh, the, this out lower bound and upper bound. Okay. So when you see a number, you you don't think that you know you must ask yourself it has been rounded up to the nearest whole number or it has been rounded up to one decimal point. Etc. Okay. Now, basing the same logic here, I because you know what is upper bound and lower bound already. I want you to quickly write down uh, what is the answer for this. Okay. If I tell you, uh, I have a number which is ten point two. Okay. And I say it has been round up to the nearest. Okay, 
one decimal place. Okay, so what should be the lower upper bound and the lower bound? Can I ask you what should the should be the upper bound? Ten point, Ten point. yeah, two five. Very good. Okay, and here. 10 point, ah, okay, one five, okay? It cannot be lower than this because here is, you already round up to the one decimal, the nearest one decimal. So we already know the bottom line is 10.15. It cannot be lower than that, okay? And it, it can't be higher than 10.25. So this is, is called accuracy, okay? Accuracy is expressed between upper bound and lower bound. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, now uh, the next one I ask you to, to consider carefully. Okay, those online, are you there? Okay, those online, you <laughs> sorry, sometimes I left you out, I forgot you there. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, now try try to take part. Huh? I, okay, I want to give this question now. Okay, uh, let's say I, I have a number. Okay, 11.0. Okay, be careful. And it is already written as nearest one decimal. Okay, one decimal place. So I want you to find what is the highest it ever can be. What is the highest and what is the lowest it can be. Yes, what is the highest it can be? Okay, 11, Okay, so it's 11 point. Now remember, it's 11.05, okay? 05. And then what is here? 10.95, okay? So be careful, okay? The highest is 11.05 and 10.95 okay so if you compare okay so you have to uh, use some logic to be dry okay? Okay. This one has been rolled to the nearest 10, 10 units, okay? So what should this be? What is the highest it can be? Nearest 10. Okay, the highest is 155, okay? And the lowest? One four five. Okay. So after round up is one five zero. So we know before round up it can be one five five. But then they say oh nearest ten. Uh 
Okay, I think this is wrong. One five five. If you round up nearest ten, what what can what should it be? Nearest ten. One five zero. So yeah, okay, correct. Nearest ten. Okay, and this one correct. So it's the right. Okay, um, let us do some calculation now. Okay, do some calculation. Now, example here. Okay, now if I have a measurement like that, okay. Anyone know how? How to delete that? Today I got only only today I have a problem. I have to come here. If okay, usually I don't have to go there. I just press. Okay. Okay. Now look here. I have here ten. Okay. And here seven. Okay. And I, I ask you if the measurement. Okay, had been round up to nearest unit. Find the upper bound and lower bound of the area okay remember we want the area we want to find the maximum area possible before you run the what was the maximum area and also the minimum area upper bound and lower bound of the area okay yeah uh Dion. okay some uh, of them one four Five. Uh, okay, um, but uh, I'm doing a new question now. Okay, can can those online try try this one? I explain. Eh? If the measurement given here, okay, is ten and seven, and they they were round up already to the nearest unit, okay. You are to find what is the upper bound and lower bound of the area. Okay, can you find the lower and upper bound of the area? Okay, this is the area. Let us call it length. Okay. And this is the width. Okay. The length and the width. 
So the land. Can I ask you what is the the upper bound of the land? Ten point five. Okay, good. Ten point five. And the low one is nine point five. Okay. Yeah, a lot of answer coming out. Very good. Okay, we we'll check. Okay. And then the, the width, huh? The width. What is the highest possible? Seven point five. And then uh, okay, six point five. Okay. So now we are going to play with this number, okay? The area. Okay. Uh, area actually come from length time width. Okay. So if you want maximum area, okay, you must get maximum of this time maximum of this. Okay. So that the area will be maximum. So the upper boundary is the maximum of L is, is 10. You purposely take 10.5 time 7.5 okay L the maximum is 10.5 width is 7.5 so uh, the answer okay what is the highest value is 78.75 okay so this is the upper bound and to find the lower bound we purposely take the lower of the lower okay Multiply the lower and the lower. So 9.5 times 6.5. And I think I will get 61.75. You got it? Okay. So now, uh, sometimes we, we look at the situation. Okay. To get when it is uh, multiplied two number multiply, we want to take maximum time maximum so that the answer will be maximum, okay? But if you want the a lower bound, we purposely take the lower time the lower, you okay? get, okay, the lower. So now, uh, let me do one more thing here, okay? Let's say another example this way, okay? Uh, I want to find Let's say A, B, C, okay? Now they are all given 5.2, okay? This is 10.5. Okay, and 4.3, okay? So they are all round up to the nearest. One decimal, okay? One decimal place, okay? So I want to find Okay, upper bound of uh, A time B divided by C. Okay, do it. And I want to find the lo lower bound. So you must choose the correct one. Every time is Choose from here the lower and upper. The lower okay. the lower bound of don't you find the upper bound? Lower bound. So what are the values? Okay. So we have to take one at a time. In a lot of decimal places. 
So use your, your calculator. Well, not because of the dividing, because of the one. Well, many in decimal, okay? Okay, now my, I think we keep to four, four decimal. Okay? Okay, we keep to four decimal. Okay, let us, I'm happy more, so many of you uh, can, can get, okay, can do it, okay? So, um, so upper bound, we, we have to choose A, those on top one as big as possible, okay? A, we will be 5.25, okay? B also, we choose the highest one, okay? 10.55. But when it comes to C, because divide, we choose the minimum, okay? So it's 4.25, okay? And I suppose you, you work out and then write in, okay, write in your four decimal points, okay? Can you use your calculator? What is your upper bound? Okay. Multiply and see. 13 point something, is it? Okay, uh, the upper bound is on top there. Okay. Uh, just now already got 13.03 right now. Eh? Yeah, so many of you got it, okay. 13.03 or 24, okay, if you keep to four decimal, okay, 24. Okay, you keep to four decimal places. Okay, and the lower bound, the lower bound, we we want the answer as small as possible. We purposely choose minimum of A and B, and then divide maximum of C. Okay, so A, okay, A will be, minimum will be five, Point what? One five is it? Time ten point four five. When come to top one, we choose as small as possible. When come to bottom, we choose as big as possible. Okay, four point three five. Okay, so the answer. Twelve point. 3718, okay. Yeah, let us check. Okay, how come do oh, 3718, okay? If you collect the three decimal. Okay, so we, we shall do some uh, wrap up. Uh, the next class, okay, the next Monday, okay, we we'll round it up, then we we'll move on to other part, okay, so that the thing will go on quite fast, okay, so, uh, but uh, I will not, I will repeat this one exercise one or two more times, so that everyone understand, then we will move on to new one. Okay, so I, I see all of you, bye-bye. So every time uh, at around 10 to 5 to 10 minutes, 
before the class, I open, I invite you all to come in, okay? So that uh, you can mark attendance. Okay, good night, good evening, bye-bye. Thank you, sir. See you, everyone. Bye. Can you send the work thing or the Microsoft Teams? What's that? That is writing on board. That is explaining limits and boundary. Can you send on Microsoft Teams? The recording is done. They'll send to the email. These are all the recording.